So we call the meeting of the uh, Calais Cemetery Commission July 24th, 2024 to order at 6.10 p.m. For the record, people here, myself, Michael Fullerton, Chair, Juanita Nunn, Vice Chair, Sage Kennedy, Member, and Joe the Sexton from uh, Kirkyard Services. First item on the agenda, anybody got any changes or additions? Hearing none. Last minutes, last uh, meetings, minutes, everybody read them. Any changes, additions? Nope. I'll have a motion to approve them. I move that we approve the minutes. Second. All, All in favor? Aye. Aye. That was easy. Sexton's report. Where do we stand, Joe? Um, so I had to reissue two title deeds to folks that um, didn't originally receive title deeds from 2015. So I had to meet them out in the cemetery, go over the plots that they were, um, uh, they had purchased. They did have the actual purchase slip of those, the plots. So I just reissued the deeds, reissued them. And, they, and their names weren't on the maps either. So. There was no, there was no um, documentation that they had those plots. So we, I had, I figured that out. I reissued them deeds, and those should be at the town clerk. So if you get two deeds and there's no checks with them, I think uh, my wife stapled the proof of purchase to them. So what just, cemetery? Uh, Fairview Cemetery. And um, and then we have a burial at the um, Old West Church for David Morris this Saturday. And that sort of brings up uh, the issue of reissuing a, um, or depending on what you guys want to do with that uh, that plot, that some uh, Valentine um, owns. Carolyn and um, Walter. Walter Valentine. Yeah. Valentine owns a plot. And he's he's callous. Yeah. They want to change their plots from fair from fair Fairview view. over to Old West Church. And Old West Church is open still. For yeah, them? they 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 only have cremation. <laughs> I'm only going to sell them. I want to allow cremations in there because the the. Um, okay. So to clarify, um, I discussed this with Joe earlier. Basically, um, we're not swapping lots. He's just going to redeed the lot at Fairview back to the town and transfer the ownership to the people who want the lot in Old West Church. Yeah. Right. And this has been done before. Um, Joe says mainly when somebody has a lot for a regular burial and wants a green burial, we deed it back and yep, change the bus. So apparently it's not a difficult and process. Especially cremation. It's just and because it's the old West Church Cemetery, may I ask, is there are there others that need to be asked? Old West Church I mean oh or well, I don't know how we don't really know who owns it, right? <laughs> yeah, the town owns it. I mean. Okay. No, I just the thought that the town does own it. Was that was in the air at one point. Commission. I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah. Great. Good. Let's try so, to keep. Let's try to not talk over each other because we're oh, being I recorded. <laughs> um, the other. The other thing is. is uh, um, there. The, we, we do charge a $50 fee to Walter and Carolyn Valentine for just the pro process of the title deed. So we would just charge them, and then we'd be good to go. Good. So I will do that. Um, and then Poplar Hill Cemetery didn't have any damage done with this last storm, so that was in that back section towards the shed, so that, that was nice to see that. Good. So, um, so there's no erosion going on on that bank. Nothing. No. <clears throat> no, I think the, 
the trees and the shrubbery have grown up quite a bit, so that it, that'll help stabilize it. I think it's going to stabilize it for a right. period of time. Okay, and uh, as talking about Poplar Hill, all, all, like I had mentioned in previous meetings, we did straighten all the stones at that cemetery, so that's all. That cemetery is all set as far as stone cleaning, stone repair, and the stone straightening. So. And I think that was on the forecast in the budget for this year. Yeah, thank so, you. Yeah. Good. So I will send in my bill for that um, to the town um, the next couple of weeks. And as far as that goes, I um, did we. Did we go get any further with the um, that fence that needs to be done over at the uh, what's that what's that cemetery called? Ainsworth. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That is an agenda item. We can okay talk about it now. Basically, we're going to say, can you give us an estimate to replace it? Yeah. Um, and I think I was supposed to get that for you, and I. Um, I didn't. I have not gotten the the price for you on that. I apologize. Okay. It's it's not a huge rush, but it'd be nice to get it done this summer so we can paint it next year. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as that goes, I. That sums up my my sexton's report. Okay. There was somebody I forget where this came from inquiring about burying the remains of pets in the cemeteries, and the answer is no, you can't. Lot owners' rights state burial of human remains only, and further on it says again. Only human remains will be buried in the cemetery. So if somebody asks, can I have my dog buried next to me? The answer is no, you can't. Nice idea, but just can't do it. So the next item is the updating on the fence painting. Uh, three of us went over there and painted for about two and a half hours and got some more of the fence painted. I'm hoping one more session, if we can get volunteers, will have the fence primed. And then we're going to have to see if we can get enough volunteers together to put the finish coat on it or whether we're just going to have to give up on volunteers and pay to have it done. Uh, the Old West Church Cemetery, I don't know if we'll be able to get to that this year or whether we'll just have to have Joe and his crew paint it. We'll know later this summer. We got until probably almost October. We can still paint. Okay, any other business? I'm on the Old West Church Cemetery fence. Um, I went there. Uh, I think the gates had gotten ripped off for some reason. I think the, the wind blew the gates open and ripped it off the screw. So I put them back on. And I noticed the from the pitching of the uh, uh, pressure treated plywood, uh, the pressure wood, pressure treated wood going around the cemetery. It was actually snapping the screws. I'd never ever seen that before. So I had the guys go back and rescrew the, the the fence back together. Huh. But it was like I was like, man, how did they miss this? And I was like, no, there's a screw there. And so we ended up just going back through and just putting a bunch more screws in there. And, okay. And re, re, but if they continue to uh, twist and as they dry out and do whatever they do in the uh, sun, then they might break more screws. I don't know, but we'll, we'll take care of it if that does, yep. does happen. And once it gets painted, that should... Hopefully that'll seal it. That'd be good to go. I don't know. But... Okay. Anything else? Then I shall entertain a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, 620.